What up, Fight Fans? Main Man, Made Man, back at it. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. Check it out, man. Heads off to Terrence Crawford as an entire corner for getting the defeat over Dierry Jean. Very impressive in how he did it. Love how he beat the dog shit out of Dierry Jean. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Terrence Crawford that we all like to see. Going from orthodox to southpaw, from southpaw to orthodox, working behind that long-ass jab, keeping the range, measuring distance beautifully. You know what I mean? Now, make no mistake about it, y'all, man. This was Dierry Jean. All right, he was a, he's a low-level journeyman. Uh, he's not really worth a serious conversation. He's never beat no one of note. So, you know, let's not, you know, take it too far. But it was a good title defense in all in all. And Terrence Crawford proving why he's definitely one of the elite at the 140-pound division. Now, with that being said, moving right along, you know what I mean? I seen the talks now. We all see that the focus is going on supposedly a possible match between Terrence Crawford and Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, man. I'm going to tell y'all like this. And I don't know if who going to agree with me, but I don't know. I'm going to say I don't want... Terrence Crawford fighting Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford does not need Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford is a 140-pound division fighter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't understand why only money can't see through this shit. Am I the only one operating with a brain here? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even think this fight, honestly, is even possible. When is the last time that we seen Manny Pacquiao fight at 140? Now, the last, I mean, the last time, remember when he fought Chris Algieri after Chris Algieri came off the winning the title against Ruslan Povotnikov? And what happened? When he fought Chris Algieri, he fought him at a catch weight. So don't expect Manny Pacquiao to go down to full-fledged 140 to even fight uh, my man Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? Besides, Terrence Crawford just got to the 140-pound division. I don't think it'd be wise and smart for them to even rush this kid. And another reason why, I mean, I just don't think the fight is even possible anyway. In my opinion, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, and Miguel Cotto could do what the fuck they want, man. I mean, at this point, man, they've had a great career. They're all Hall of Famers. They're going to the Hall of Fame. They've given us wonderful fights over the years, man. And let them go out the way they need to, however other way that they need to go out. They don't need to take some young, uh, up-and-coming champion, young hungry lion, and and kind of try to blemish that guy's record or what. I just don't think it's a good fit. You know what I'm saying? But I just I just don't think the fight is even possible. I just think that Bob Abram is mentioning the name of Manny Pacquiao, his most popular fighter, the second, if not first, most popular boxer on the planet. He's mentioning him in the same sentence with Terrence Crawford to boost up his numbers. Because, I mean, we all know Terrence Crawford is very popular in his hometown. But we don't know what he would do outside of his hometown of Nebraska. You know what I mean? We just don't know it. I mean, it, that dude has a lot of great opposition at the 140-pound division, in my opinion. The realistic fights that can be made at 140 for Terrence Crawford are good, good fights. Postal is possible. You know what I mean? Um... We got what? Well, we got post all possible. We got Matisse that's possible. You know what I mean? There are good fights at the 140 pound division that can be made. Sure, Adrian Brown is off the table, and as well as all of the Al Heyman PBC fighters, but there's still other good, good fights that can be made at 140 for Terrence Crawford. I mean, he ain't even been there that long. I mean, other than Dierry Jean, he beat Tomas Delorme for the title. I mean, that was all we saw just almost a year ago. He was at a 135 fighting with New Yorkers Gamboa. So get a dude a chance, man, to get his feet wet at 140, take over, possibly take over that division, wreak some havoc at 140, and then let him go along his path. He don't need Manny Pacquiao, man. All right, Manny Pacquiao, they talk about he's not fighting against us sometime next April, and then after that he's going to be running for office in the Philippines and stuff like that. Man, look, however that dude wants to go out, whether it be a Marquez or a Bradley or, or an Amir Khan or whomever the fuck, let him go out in that manner. Let those previous era uh, 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 greats go out on another note. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think Manny Pacquiao would go out like Mayweather did, you know what I mean, fighting fucking Andre Berto. But the fact still remains, man, I think Manny Pacquiao wants to do it big. And Terrence Crawford just not doesn't need to be in that mix. All right, he has more than enough opportunity at 140. Now, I'm not saying Terrence Crawford possibly couldn't beat Manny Pacquiao. But I want to say this. For everybody who's running around like it's a guaranteed thing, you're seriously fucking fooling yourselves, man. 
why the hell is this everybody thinking just because Manny Pacquiao fought the way he fought against Mayweather that he can't get in there with boxers? People have bumped their motherfucking heads, man. I'm telling you, correct me if I'm wrong. But when he beat Timothy Bradley, who at the time was being saying second, possibly third pound for pound, is Timothy Bradley not a boxer? And he beat him, what, twice by most people's accounts. But he beat him at least for sure officially once, which wasn't too long ago. Chris Algieri, no power having Chris Algieri. I would like to think he's a boxer and he was a good enough boxer to take the title off Ruslan Provodnikov. Manny Pacquiao dominated him. So don't give me that shit. About Manny Pacquiao can't get in there with boxes. Y'all are fooling yourselves. I think, honestly, I don't know if Terrence Crawford, honestly, now that I think about it, I don't know if Terrence Crawford beats Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has acclimated himself to fight 147 pound boxes. All right, Terrence Crawford has never fought beyond 140. We don't know how that fight may go, ladies and gentlemen, while everybody's just counting out Manny Pacquiao, all because of how Floyd Mayweather fought. That's what it seems like to me. That's what everybody has to be going off, right? We don't know how they go. We don't even know what version of Pacquiao we might get. The man has been out of boxing for quite some time now. So we don't know what version Manny, of Manny Pacquiao that we're going to get. We just honestly, he hasn't fought since May and he's not talking about fighting until April. That's a long fucking time and a long time to be out of the sport of healing and resting your body and shit. We don't know if we're going to get Bumblebee Manny Pacquiao with those zillion punches of the unheard of power of Manny Pacquiao. We don't know which Pacquiao we're going to get. And we don't know if Terrence Crawford can handle a heavier punching, faster punching Manny Pacquiao. We just don't know. He has never fought anyone on the level of Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? You know, one other thing I did see in that De'Ara Jean fight that I did like also from Terrence Crawford is that whenever he rarely did he get hit flushly, but whenever he did got hit the, with those couple big shots that De'Ara Jean, you know, those those windmill shots that he let go in desperation, I guess, and those the ones that landed, he ate those punches very well, showed a very, very good chin. But, I mean, I like that from Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford has a lot of good things going for him. I don't think they should rush this kid. They can keep him at 140, let him do a lot of damage there. There's good opposition at 140 for him. You know what I mean? Let him stay there and do some damage there and see what the fuck happens, in my opinion. Now, a lot of people say he should be he's the number one fighter at 140, right? So let's see it. You can't beat De'Ari Jean and Tomas Delorme and then everybody call him and turn around and call him the number one fighter at 140. Stylistically, I like the kid. He has a great style. I think he gives everybody problems at 140. But we got to see it. We can't just be making this shit up. You know what I'm saying? The kid got a lot of time, ladies and gentlemen. He's still young. Besides, he needs to build up his popularity, in my opinion, a little more. So while everybody's rushing him to go and fight Manny Pacquiao, man, look, that is not a guaranteed win. And at this particular point, I don't think it'll be... Why is if he took a loss to Manny Pacquiao at this point in his career? Bob Abram likes to mention Manny Pacquiao. He is a popular boxer. He especially was running this shit in the ground prior to the Derry Jean fight. I mean, Terrence Crawford was fucking the main event headlining an HBO card. What did you expect Abram to do? So all I'm saying is, man, I don't think it's a smart move if he was to go on and, and if you look at it, because I was wondering why every time, like even in the post-fight interview of the Derry Jean fight, like he wasn't, he didn't seem starving for that Manny Pacquiao fight. Oh, you know, he gave the generic answer. I'll leave it up to my people. I'll leave it up to my business people to go and try to make that fight. If Pacquiao's people, you know, the, the, the generic answer, a, a non to let everybody know I ain't scared of Pacquiao by far. But he doesn't seem hungry for that fight. There's a lot of people in the runnings for that Manny Pacquiao payday. There's a lot of people who would love to have that fight, and they've called them out on it, a a.k.a. Amir Khan. I think Bradley would like to get a third crack at it. I don't know about Marquez as much, but there are other fighters that would like to get a fight with Manny Pacquiao at this particular moment. And Terrence Crawford has not been starving and calling out Pacquiao, chasing around Pacquiao, mentioning Pacquiao in videos. It, it's never mentioned until someone else brings it up. So I don't even know if 100% behind the scenes he's really craving for that fight. I'm telling you, man, Mayweather, Pac, and Cotto have, to me, earned their stripes in the sport. They are Hall of Fame fighters, future Hall of Fame fighters. Let them go out the way they want to go out. And I, my honestly opinion, I don't even think Manny Pacquiao was craving for a Terrence Crawford fight. You know what I'm saying? 
So, I mean, I just think everybody to pump their brakes on that shit. I don't think it's a smart move for Terrence Crawford, in my opinion. Let him do what he needs to do at 140. Gradually move up to 147. That, don't try to put him in an uncomfortable position. You know what I mean? We've seen what happened. Now, I'm not saying that uh, Canelo Alvarez was in an uncomfortable position when he fought Mayweather, but actually, maybe so. Because he didn't fight Mayweather at the fight weight that he really wanted to fight Mayweather at, 154. They fought at a catch weight. What was it, 152? And Canelo claims, allegedly, this is the reason he felt as he lost against Mayweather. He was drained in a way. But it was an uncomfortable thing. And it it blemished Canelo Alvarez in a way. I don't think that's the smart thing for Terrence Crawford because the fight wouldn't take place at 140, y'all. And Terrence Crawford would not be a side in that fight. You getting me? So let's just take our time here. Let that kid unify. You know what I mean? Let him try to go up against other champions. Let him really, instead of us just saying he's the number one fighter at 140, let him show he's the number one fighter at 140. And beating Tomas Delorme and Dierry Jean at this particular point, just to me, is not enough to just take that mantle. If you agree with me, put it in the comment section. If you don't, put it in the comment section. It's all love. To the next video, Main Man, Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man, Made Man Boxing Forum. I'm telling y'all, man, don't rush that kid. Let him go along his journey. And I just do not believe in his immediate future lies a Manny Pacquiao. All right? I wish we can get an Adrian Bronner, but I ain't stupid. I know how that, how they go. But anyway. To the next video, please out.